What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas talking to you guys today about something uh, I wanted to cover that has been, you know, I've seen this in topics before, even on my channel, people talking in the comments section. I've seen people talk about this on uh, other videos on YouTube. I've seen some talk about this in news articles over the last year, a couple years, and that's about the cost of coming on vacation here in Vegas now. Um, you know, over the last couple years, we've seen, you know, several areas where the cost has just gone up for tourists to come here. And, you know, that, a lot of that started, you know, a few years ago with MGM when they began charging for parking, uh, followed by Caesars, and then followed by Wynn Resorts. And the latest one, actually, I just found out recently, is the Embassy Suites of all places. Uh, Embassy Suites, that is over, um, they have a location on Paradise, on Paradise Road right next to the Convention Center. They have another one right next to UNLV. Both those places have started to charge for parking. Now, they charge $13 to park for the day there. Uh, on Paradise Road, they also, you can valet for 15 bucks. And over the one by UNLV, it's this $13 plus tax. It says to park uh, daily over there and they have no valet. So, you know, even Embassy Suites now has jumped on the uh, charging for parking uh, bandwagon here in Las Vegas, if you will. And, you know, the, uh, some of these casinos start charging for parking. There's still places you can park for free on the Strip. And then there's several, of course, you know, plenty off the Strip. I'll put the link up here. I did the video about that one a while ago where there's still free parking in Vegas. But that was just one thing, you know, that had always been foreign to Las Vegas was, you know, parking, uh, paying for parking. That was something that made Vegas unique compared to a lot of other tourist destinations and vacation spots was that you did not have to pay for the parking here. Uh, of course, the resort fees going up, that has happened, you know, that seems to be happening pretty regularly. Uh, sometimes resort fees, you know, are even higher than the room prices themselves. Uh, in 2018, MGM increased the resort fee and the price for their parking. So, I mean, you know, the prices keep going up for certain things around here in town. And that's part of the concern I have for Vegas here, you know, going forward in the future. And I know some other people do as well is just, you know, the amount of money that is starting to cost people, you know, extra to come here on vacation that did not cost them before. Um, and the effect it's going to have on our overall tourism. Because uh, one thing that has been doing well here in Vegas and the companies have been focusing on it, is you know people that travel here for business purposes travel here for conferences right that's why you know mandalay bay has expanded their convention center that's why the las vegas convention center is expanding you know that's why they're expanding because you know more business money is coming here uh to town right food and beverage is doing well i mean that's great that there's a lot of business money coming here to town but there's also millions upon millions and millions of other people who come here and they have nothing to do with the business they come here just for fun and you know, really it's my concern for the people or for the tourists in the future, just the ones who come here just more casually, especially uh, that come you know, just within a four or five hour drive, a lot of them from California. I think it's something like 25, even up to like 30% of this city's tourism comes from California. Most of that, I believe it's about 80% of that comes from Southern California. So people coming from you know, LA, Orange County, uh, you know, Riverside, San Diego area, San Bernardino County, you know, somewhere where they can get here within you know, a few hour drive at most. Those are people who just come here sometimes just on a whim. Like they'll just come like real quick on a whim, you know, for the weekend. Some people, they come every other weekend here. Some people come once a month. They drive here, stay the weekend, spend their money, and they wind up going home. And, you know, when you do things like you start charging like uh, coming staff for parking, you increase the parking fees, you increase the resort fees. Those are the people that I feel like, you know, the ones that, you know, are getting hit the most. They're the ones getting hit the hardest by this. The people who come here uh, pretty regularly and the tour and the locals, of course, you know, who want to come down to the strip because now, you know, MGM initially was letting locals park for free. Um, then they stopped that and Caesars let locals park free for 24 hours. Then they stopped that. So now pretty much everybody is just subject to one hour of free parking. Then, you know, after that, uh, you're going to start paying for it. So, you know, those are the people getting hurt the most by the parking fees. Then the resort fees, you know, of course, are hurting all the tourists. And then, you know, there's other things just like um, I'd found out recently. This has actually been around for several years. But uh, I found out recently they have another thing called the CNF tax. And it's a um, concession and franchise fee at some restaurants charge here. It's like 4.7%. Certain restaurants along the strip charges just gets added onto your bill. It's just another fee, another tax that gets thrown onto your bill that like people don't even know about. You, don't, you wouldn't know about it really until, it gets, until you see your final receipt and you're like, what is this tax? What is this fee? And that's the thing that's what pisses people off about it, is it's the way that some of these places go about it. They go about it by adding a fee like that that you never knew about, that you didn't know existed. You know, they go about it by, you know, showing the room prices online, and you go to click the room price, you go to your final checkout, and you see how much more it's gonna cost all the resort fees. You know, adding things in that people just do not expect, then they get surprised by it, then they get annoyed, then they get upset, then it kind of pisses them off, and they don't want to come back. You know, that's something that, you know, that pisses people off when they get that because they just want to get the straight price and when you throw in other fees and other taxes and they don't know about them, then it irritates people and it makes them not want to come back. 
and you know it can hurt you know tourists wanting to come back the other people also hurts are a lot of the employees of these places too because you know you used to be able to come to a lot of hotels and you, know, you could valet for free you tip the valet guy right you tip them extra they keep your car up front they get it quicker for you when you come out you know you felt like a vip because you had to come you took care of the valet guy and they took care of you right they gave you good service well now you come to valet you pay you know 13 15 17 bucks whatever the case may be you know, that's eating into the tip you would give to the valet person. Of course, the valet person's not happy because their tips are getting eaten away. So, I mean, it's, just, it's like it's getting, you know, tighter and tighter and tighter on so many of the tourists. And they're just, you know, some of them feel like they're getting squeezed and they're getting pinched more and more. Every time they try to come here, there's something new that's squeezing them for money. Some fee increased, something else went up. And it's just like, it just takes a lot of the fun out of coming to Vegas for them. So, you know, it, and the thing about this is, you know, how long will this, how long will this continue, right? How long can this go for? Um, well, obviously this cannot go forever. Okay, right now, the reason it's been able to go the way it has is because last few years the economy has been doing well, right? The uh, country's economy as a whole has been doing well. And here really started, I would say about 2016 was the year, it was kind of the turning point because I remember talking to some realtors here uh, in 2015 who said they did not think like, you know, locally the Vegas economy was going to do great because usually in election years it doesn't. But you know, that ended up changing a lot. 2016 ended up being a very good year. 2017 ended up being a good year uh, locally here in Las Vegas. Uh, one concern I do have, and I think this is going to have an impact on the local economy, is you'll see the number of tourists has gone down recently. Okay, there was a point um, for several years up to 2016, the number of tourists was going up, where we had over 40 million tourists a couple years in a row. And then 2016 was that peak. And then 2017, we went down. Uh, I mentioned that in a video I did about the Drew Hotel coming to town. I'll link that above here too, about the Drew Hotel, will that hotel succeed? And I found two websites. One was the Las Vegas uh, Visitor Convention Authority website. And the other was uh, Statista.com that quoted two different numbers actually in 2017. But nonetheless, both of them showed 2017 had less tourists than 2016 here in Vegas. And part of that may have just been the economy itself. I would run out one article that said part of that was because uh, there were several conventions that rotate every single year different location it was just their year to be in vegas part of it also was of course prior to the tragedy that happened right over here and so far from what i'm seeing in 2018 just here on the ground level uh, i do not think 2018 is going to beat 2017's number of tourists that visit las vegas uh, right now you know in my industry where i work in nightlife i have not seen the same amount of people coming i have not seen this i've not seen the same quality of people coming and spending money like i have in the past i talked to someone who works in restaurants the other day for one of the uh, major um casino companies uh, resort companies here on the strip they said their restaurants been kind of up and down a bit so far in 2018 some months they make more than last year some months they're down it's not like a huge numbers but they said across the board uh their resort company is not doing as well this year so you know just looking on the ground level uh i do not see 2018 beating 2017's numbers i see 2018's numbers being lower and what that means is that, you know, if that's the case where there's not as many people coming to Vegas, there's not as much money being spent, the hotels cannot continue to charge the way they have. They're not going to be able to keep increasing fees higher and higher and higher when the number of tourists keeps going down and down and down. Now, the other thing that's going to make an interesting dynamic is obviously the economy is going to go down at some point, right? And, I, and down does not necessarily mean a crash, but it's going to go down. I think it will go down. Economies, they ebb and flow. They go up and down. So right now things are high and they're doing well, but as it comes down, they're naturally gonna have to bring prices down as well. Um, their resort fees are probably have to come down. They have to do, offer something to incentivize people to come here, you know, when they do not have as much money to spend. So the economy is gonna eventually start to go down. We know how fast, who knows. Uh, we don't have as many tourists coming, you know, last year. This year is yet to be seen. I hope I'm wrong. I would love to be wrong if there to be more tourists that came this year. But to me right now, it does not look good, the number of tourists coming. And then also, the third factor you have is, you know, some a company like, you know, uh, the Drew Hotel is going to be opening up. Or um, uh, Resorts World, the company out of China, is supposed to be opening their big hotel right over across the street from the Wynn and next to Circus Circus. So, I mean, you have, you know, an economy that's going to be eventually slowing down. You have less tourists coming to town and you have more hotels and more casinos coming to operate here. So you, the consumer, you, the visitor, are going to have more choice here in the next couple of years. And, you know, when you have more choice, there's going to be more competition that forces businesses to compete. And that means they're not going to be able to get away with certain things they have been. So I think in the next couple of years, we're going to see, you know, the trend slow down and possibly even reverse to a degree where, you know, resort fees will come down, room price will come down, you know, maybe for parking, they'll start offering, you know, discounted parking or maybe they'll local start parking for free again it would not surprise me but just you know at this point the cost of coming on vacation um, I'm just you know seeing that it's just making it harder and harder just for you know the average tourist will say the everyday person to come you know maybe he's gonna spend a few hundred bucks or just a couple thousand you know or a thousand or less 
you know, it's making it harder for them to come and spend their money uh, here. And obviously less of it is circulating to the employees in the form of tipping just because of the fees and the extra costs. So you know, tell me what you guys think about this, about the added fees, the added costs that are, you know, coming along with Vegas these last couple of years, what you think about it. You know, do you think this is going to bury Vegas? You know, um, you know, Vegas has always, um, you know, been a place for a lot of years. It was known as being kind of an affordable vacation spot. And in some ways, some people argue that it still is, but just the way they go about it, that, you know, is what's pissing off a lot of the tourists. And, you know, the other thing is, I don't, I don't think this will bury Vegas, but the other thing, you know, about Vegas is despite some of the things they're doing now, and that is upsetting some people, um, you know, people a lot of times who run these properties here, and they're in the hospitality here, they're not stupid. Okay, one thing that's why Vegas has been able to survive, you know, and Atlantic City has, you know, hasn't, or Reno hasn't the way Vegas has, is because, you know, Vegas didn't just ride gambling as its one trick pony. Um, those are some things, you know, people think of Vegas, they always think of it for gambling, think gambling revenue is going down and Vegas is gonna go under, but it's, but it's not. You know, that's why in Vegas, they put more money in recent years into building like, you know, stadiums or building, um, you know, places for events and event centers because millennials do not gamble like the older generation does. They don't. Millennials don't gamble like the older generation. They want to spend money on experiences. They want to come for events. So they'll come, you know, for a concert, for shows, uh, you know, for a festival, for a nightclub event, something that they can talk about for years later, you know, not just sitting, you know, in front of a slot machine and just playing that, you know, and hoping getting a, a little bit of a high from that. You know, it's just a different demographic, different market in Vegas. It's always willing to shift and they go where the money is. That's one thing Vegas does do. Like right now, there's a lot of business money coming to town for conventions. That's been the trend lately. So they've been shifting towards businesses. You know, there's tons of shopping here. We have elite hotel rooms. We have elite restaurants here. There's a lot more to offer than just gambling. So I don't think this is going to, you know, bury Vegas or Vegas is going to die from this anytime soon. But I do think that, you know, they're getting to a point where, you know, they're not going to be able to keep increasing this forever. And, you know, obviously something's going to have to give. The economy is eventually going to come down. If the number of tourists keeps going down like it did last year, and then also you have more competition coming to town too, that's going to wind up driving the prices down because these players are going to have to compete for less money and less tourists that are coming to town. So I want to hear what you guys think about this. What do you think of all these fees? What's going on that happened with the next couple of years in Las Vegas? And just tell me your thoughts about, you know, just the state of Vegas and what these casinos and hotels have been doing lately. That's it for this video. I'm Jacob, this is my life in Vegas.